Hey fellas, today we're playing A Thing of Bygone Days, episode 1 and 2, maybe? I'm not sure if that's included in this version or not, but uh, this game just came out like yesterday, and uh, I thought we should play it. I don't have a weird drink, I just have water, so I could review that or I could stop being a dick and just hit new game. Hope you guys are doing well. Episode 1. Yard. Press left mouse. <clears throat> Lately, all my intros have been like two minutes long. And uh, I hope you guys are okay with that. Because <laughs> I know that sometimes that could be too long. I don't know. The surgeon was charged with kidnapping and detention. Oh no, detention? What happened to them afterwards is unknown. For a long time, there was a trial during which the details of the case could not be established because the witness who allegedly managed to escape died in the hospital. Allegedly managed to escape died in the hospital. Those two things don't add up. He didn't allegedly escape. He escaped and then died. And then the surgeon himself disappeared from the house arrest. Why is he on house arrest? Whatever. The justice system in this universe is fucked up. According to some information, the surgeon is hiding out on the outskirts of the state in a farm once owned by his grandfather, and the police are nowhere to be found. They know where he might be. They don't go there. <laughs> and this is newsworthy circulation professionals, apparently. Worthy of media attention and public distribution. Fuck off. How do I get you off my screen, assholes? Okay. Cool. So yeah, this is episode one. I just came. There is no point in leaving. We have some text-to-speech. That's cool. We have night vision. Oh man, I'm slippery. Man, whenever there's movement like this, it just makes me wish I was at the arcade. Playing air hockey. Click left mouse to read the article. Um, what an assumption to, uh, think I saw one. What are you talking about? I'm like a ball. I'm like rotating. Watch. I'll walk and I'll stop. <laughs> I'm a sentient soccer ball. Alright, we gotta find the article this man was talking about. There's so many places to go. There's an article there? I thought that was a plank. I, Edward, softly. That's my last name. <laughs> I, Edward, softly. I'm not a superstitious man, but I can admit to some strange things that began as soon as I arrived at this farm. The gate was unlocked. I had no trouble getting into the yard. As I took a couple of steps, I heard creaking sounds behind me. I looked back, and the gate had already been slammed. And not just slammed, but really locked. <laughs> How is it possible? Of the unpleasant, I forgot my flashlight in the car. I always have my camera with me, and it has a night mode. Press space. I'm Edward Softly. Drag the item to the desired object. Alright, what? Okay, we need a thing. Whoa, is that our shadow? So we go into like bird's eye view whenever we investigate things. Okay. That was a little weird. Yeah, okay, so we need key items. We gotta go on the hunt for key items. Dude, I don't know. This place is massive. Is this the greenhouse? I think the whole place is a greenhouse. Night vision is... <laughs> Go get a refund on this camera, dude. They lied. Oh my god. Laud deep in thought. Alright, you know what? Let's, let's, let's relax, okay? We're going in a little too hard on this game. You need to chill. You need to... Back the fuck up and respect this game, okay? I cannot pick this up to save my life. I'm like sliding past. Okay. To tear out the boards and clear the passage. 
But we have a giant axe now. And I could use it to uh, break the boards, but I kind of want to investigate the rest of the uh, compound. Or whatever this place is. There's so many places, and everything is boarded up. But not that over there. Also, keep in mind that this is episode one, alright? So chill out. You're talking a little too much shit over there, I can hear it. Damn, this is total darkness. What a nice little path. Takes you right back to where you were. Okay, so I was wrong. We just need to break shit open. Like this? Is that a watering can? You know what? The time for questions is over. We're just gonna go. A syringe? Fuck it, yeah. I don't know, but it can't be good. That syringe is fucked. Wait, I can't take it? Okay, well, I'm in the yard. Edward softly. The sky is covered with clouds today. The light from the moon barely illuminates the yard. I exhaled heavily and moved into the darkness. The garden that met me in the darkness impressed me with its size. So huge and populated by all sorts of plants, one plant. In the front garden, that the light of the moon and the lamppost did not penetrate through the thickness of the plants, I can count the foliage. Which is surprising, by the way, that in such an uninhabited and godforsaken place, Lanterns are still burning. Perhaps there is electricity in the house. A huge, ungroomed front garden. I guess that's how I would describe the place. It's obviously a godforsaken place, and no one can be here. But I'm here now, and there's no turning back. Now it's my job to get into the house. Oh my god. Character motivations. What do you mean there's no turning back? It's 2004. You should be getting ready for Halo 2. There's no turning back. You could jump over that fence and go home right now. Oh my god, look. This ungroomed forest. One, two, three, four. So many different plants. It's, it's insane. Guys, I thought I told you to stop laughing at this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw the picture of the skull and I, I couldn't help myself. Oh no. Okay. Um. Alright. Cool. For sure. Yeah. I don't think I could use the axe on this chain, right? Yeah, I figured as much. Whoa. It was so wrong that they turned me around. Um, maybe we could just go forward. Like, over here. There's stuff over here. There's just no path to it. So if you want to go to your house, you have to walk through the dirt. That's cool. You call it an inconvenience? I call it a feature. You know, they say it makes you happier when you touch dirt, right? With your bare hands. Maybe we could all use a little more of that. Cool. I saw what I need, but I don't think there's anything else in here. Now I can break the chain. Now I can break the chain. It's very deep. Okay, well, I mean, we could go to the house now, or we can go back and investigate the other areas. I don't know. Look at how many different things there is in this world. This game is so quiet that when the jump scare comes, I'm going to fucking shoot up out of my chair and into the ceiling. I swear it. Okay. Alright. Let's go find those ch Ooh. Nope, never mind. Let's go find those chains. 
they've been obstructing my path for far too long. I'll let you know when I get there, in like 13 weeks. So anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm doing alright, you know, thanks for asking. We made it to the first chain. Stop doing that, that scares me. I don't like that shit. Well, there's got to be something. Oh, okay. What's up? What is he grabbing or what's up with his hands? Uh. All right. I think maybe we just go over there. I don't... I don't know. It can't be the picture, dude. Who cares about a picture? Oh, look! There's a place. There's also a... <laughs> cemetery. What is in here that I could use? Fucking nothing so far. Yeah, like, actually nothing. It's all for show. Look at that. That's cool. Why board it up? There I go asking questions I don't really want the answer to. And why do I care about being here? Oh, key! I really hope that this is the key to the house. It's time to check it out. I'm sure it's the key to the house, man. After wandering around the garden for a while, opening the various doors of the greenhouses and conservatories with the tools at hand, I stumbled upon a small cemetery. In my position, it was eerie to see the gravestones under the moonlight. On one of the slabs I found a key, probably to a house. Who could have left it there? Well, this was no time for idle speculation. <laughs> Hopefully the key would fit in the door and I would get in the house. Edward Softly's got away with words. Idle speculation. I'll have to... Oh, another one. Dude, right at the top of the page. You have a clipboard, there's no excuse. The house was a two-story gothic-style mansion. It looked grim and imposing, just like the garden. It looked uninhabited, because I didn't see any light in the windows. As I expected, the front door of the house was locked. I need to find the key. I'll see if I can find it in the garden. Hopefully it won't take long and I won't get in trouble. I think you have bigger things to worry about, man. There's no way there's not going to be some fucking crazy clown on the other end of this door. I was wrong. Episode 2, The House. The surgeon was charged with kidnapping and detaining people. I, dude, there's no way. The witness who allegedly managed to escape died in the hospital and the surgeon himself disappeared from house arrest. According to some information, the surgeon is hiding on the outskirts of the state in a farm that once belonged to his grandfather. <sighs> All right, I did it. I like the ambience here. And the colors are nice, too. I'm not going to use night vision as much as possible. Are you a puzzle? Are you? No. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at the shadow. I'm a robot, right? There's <laughs> Whatever. Door's locked. Ah. Uh, I'm getting PT vibes from this. Like l l let me let me paint the picture for you. That's the looping door that you start at, right? This is where the clock is, which there's a clock there. 
come over here, this is where the phone would be and stuff, and the pictures or whatever. You turn this way, this is the bathroom. This is the front door of the PT house. This is where the radio is, right? And then that's where the looping door is. So I guess we're about to find out what kind of game this is. I'd be scared to death, by the way. Edward softly goes hard. He's no joke. I fucking knew it, man. You see what I'm saying? It's like the universe put me here so I could play this game, so I could say those words. Like, I'm a fan, dude. I'm a huge fan. I love Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> but come on. Can we all just move past PT? Can we all get together and... I don't know. Just move on. Yeah, that's fine, but can you open it? Man, I haven't played PT in so long. I feel so stupid for deleting it from my PS4. I'm a huge dumb idiot. But I did do it. I did delete it. There are, like, recreations of it, though, which are nice. But... But they're not perfect, you know? Is that fucking... Is that the Emperor? Whatever. I think Lisa's right around the corner here. Or behind this door? Fuck off, Lisa. Nobody cares. I'm scared of Lisa. I just think... Anybody who's really tall and lanky... Is scary. I used to think Lanky Kong was scary. Okay. Alright. What's that at the end there? I see something. It ain't Batman. Oh, it's gone. So maybe it was. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. <sighs> Are you the surgeon? You look much scarier without, uh, night vision. But what are you doing? You're freaking out over there, man. I wish I had to zoom in so I could get a good look at you. I know the moment I move forward you're gonna run at me or something. Oh, you're not. I guess that would be a little too complex for this game. Damn, I should have got a cool thumbnail. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Next time. Ooh, it's a bathroom. All right. Oh, shit. I don't know how long I've been here. It seems like an eternity. I periodically hear footsteps outside the door. I don't know who it is, but I ask him for help. Where am I? The last thing I remember was an appointment at the hospital. I went there complaining of a nagging pain in my arm. Some local surgeon saw me. I was just passing through town. What happened to me? You had a pain in your arm and a surgeon saw you? That should have been your first clue, man. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? You get a doctor for that, not a surgeon. A surgeon is when it's too late. I sure wish I could run. Like, how, what is going through Edward Softley's head right now? He's like, man, you know, I could, I could turn back, maybe, but I guess not. I gotta see this through. <laughs> I 
maybe he's like, I love PT. Sorry, I was taking cover from the incoming jump scare that may or may not still happen. Damn, I'm shocked. Dude, you couldn't be more PT if you tried. I do like this, though. Yeah. Go faster. This is cool. I wonder if there are any, like, Easter eggs. Hey, Edward. What are you thinking about right now? What the fuck just happened to you? Another one of those questions we don't need the answer to. Come on, dude. It's just... It sucks a little bit because I know everything that's gonna happen, you know? If it wasn't like that, then I wouldn't mind, but... Damn, he got us. No fucking end screen. Just a boom, you're back at the main menu. That was episode two. I'd imagine there's no episode three, or if there is, it's not Edward Softly. But let's be honest, Edward Hardly was a character. <laughs> anyway, what do I think about a thing of bygone days? Well, I guess we could break it down into episodes. Episode one was okay. Um... It didn't really amount to anything. It was just finding key items, breaking doors open, looking at pointless pictures, and reading Edward Softley's inner thoughts, which should probably just be kept there because they weren't very helpful to begin with. I mean, I knew understood what was going on. I didn't need to read his thoughts on a clipboard. But yeah, nothing even happened in episode one. It almost feels like it shouldn't have even been there. I think episode one could have been three sentences of dialogue on a black screen where Edward softly details what happened to him before he got in the house. And then you could have just started at the house. And then episode two is just PT. I figured out it was PT before I even did a loop. That's how PT it is. So I don't know. What do I think of episode two? I think it's PT, but worse. So... I paid money for this. I paid three hard-earned dollars. You know what three dollars gets you these days? Jack shit, but at the very least you could get a Kit Kat with it. And I love Kit Kats. And you took one from me. And what you gave me in return is a thing of bygone days, episode one and two. So I'm not gonna go easy on you. And that's on discount for 50% off, so normally you'd be asking for $6. Now you tell me, do you think your game is worth $6? And if the answer is yes, then you need to fucking really look deep inside of your own soul, your own heart, uncover it from the darkness that enshrouds it, and think really hard. Damn, 20 minutes of time, Five minutes in which things actually happen. Six dollars. And if it still makes sense to you, then I respect it, to be honest. You got that grind set, but it's not for me. So I don't think it's a very good game. No. But I do think you could improve, just like anybody else. I mean, there is, there are signs of competence here. I really like the drag and drop mechanics. I don't even know if you made that, though. That's the thing about these Unity games, is that you could just download entire templates from the, the Unity marketplace and then just throw them into your game. I don't know. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that you actually developed these mechanics, in which case I'll say, yeah, this is pretty competent stuff. I just think that maybe horror games aren't your thing, or maybe you need a lot more practice before you can start charging money for your games. And that's all I really have to say about it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you should consider subscribing. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye Hey, no, dude. I, I clicked on quit. What are you talking about? You did not just do that to me. Dude, hitting quit takes you to episode one. That's worse than quitting. What happens if I hit new game?
You literally cannot escape this game. That is crazy. Alright. Well. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, guys.